Master the wall bounce ASAP, great for surprise attacks and or escaping. Strafe when shooting, basically change directions left and right but do not do the same pattern too often. And likewise, when you're strafing, you can hit your crouch button and you can slide away. On top of that, shooting while strafing stabilizes every gun's recoil, making it easier to hit your enemies. Have one person as an in-game leader giving out all the commands themselves so it doesn't get too chaotic when everyone is shouting commands all at once. Listen to your damn IGL and do not talk when they're talking. Likewise, whenever you're playing with randoms, use the team chat voice in-game. Just leave it on and even if no one's talking, just give commands. They might still be listening. Learn the shield healing item voice command. Basically, during a game, you can say I'm 8-2. This means you have 8 shield cells and 2 shield batteries. Cells go first, allowing sharing of survival items to be done quicker. Super important in stressful survival situations. Learn how to use the compass. See this thing over here? The number Numbers represent the direction that you're looking at. If you give that number to your team, you'll end up looking towards the same direction, allowing you to pinpoint enemy location easier. Prioritize the jump slide combo mid fight. You get slowed when you get hit by a bullet, so whenever you try to slide first, you will just crouch. L star is king. It's easy to control, deals great damage, and you never have to reload this weapon when you use it correctly. Basically, just don't let it overheat. Shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot, move. Apex Legends Mobile has the best training grounds I have ever seen. You have loads of different modes where you can practice before you even get into the firing range. You have the standard firing range, mastery missions, tutorial trainings, and then when you go into firing range, you've even got even more options for training when you go to this control panel. So make sure you check out the firing range in its entirety and get some practice. Practice your locking, your tracing, and everything else. Learn how to ledge peek. Basically, when you jump onto a corner of a ledge, you can hang onto it, allowing you to peek on the other the side before the enemy can see you. But be careful when doing ledge peeking though. If you can see them, they can see you. Whenever you see an enemy lifeline, drop her drone, shoot it and destroy it ASAP. Especially when you have a clear shot when it's reviving someone. Lifeline's healing drone can also heal enemies. Meaning you can use an enemy lifeline's drone and get some heals if you've taken damage mid fight. Connect these jump towers to travel far between one jump tower to the next. You can also use these jump towers to gain advantageous positions when pushing an enemy. Sometimes it's better to be patient with your shots and wait for the enemy to empty their magazine trying to kill you and once they start reloading you can go in for the attack. Learn to crouch when you're in a fight and stay crouching. Sometimes this simple trick will help you dodge bullets and kill enemies before they kill you. You can climb a wall coming off of Octane's jump pad. So you can get to places even if you don't land on the top of the surface, just basically land on a wall and climb up. Warm up in Team Deathmatch, also known as TDM. Best place for non-stop combat, movement and close range fight practice. If you pick up a hemlock and this is all you've got, change it to single fire. You can still hold the fire button and shoot automatically with zero recoil. If you want to farm damage to unlock achievements, badges or whatever reason, use snipers, G7 or hemlock. Lock. When someone's camping inside a building, climb the side of the buildings to shoot someone inside through the window. Lead your shots versus a moving target. Bullet takes time to travel, so shoot where the enemy is going to so the bullet hits them as they travel to that direction. You can use these cargo bots as traps whenever someone shoots them down, wait on a corner or something and then whenever they start looting, pop them. This button changes the way you throw things like grenades, arc stars and thermites. One is high and perfect for throwing a grenade over something, the other there is pretty much just lowering the grenade next to you. Octane's jump pad launches you in three different ways. Running or sprinting throws you into a high arc. Slide or crouch into it, you get thrown lower but travel farther. And whenever you use the melee's hit momentum, you get thrown 90 degrees upward, so straight vertical. If your secondary weapon has a magazine full of bullets, swapping weapons is faster than reloading to start shooting again. Spam and throw every single ordnance that you've got against someone on a higher ground position to flush them away from it or kill them. In Apex Legends Mobile, there is no damage fall off, meaning your guns do the same damage regardless of how far your target is. If you're struggling to hit your shots, learn the recoil pattern for the gun that you're trying to use. If you don't know what the recoil pattern is, how are you going to control it? Number 34, 
Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to improve because I make the best guys on YouTube for Apex Legends Mobile. 35. In Apex Legends Mobile, there is no such thing as a wall bang, meaning you cannot shoot anyone behind a wall, but you can shoot through these screens. Remember what each legend looks like and their names ASAP. Very helpful for team callouts so you can expect the type of abilities you'll fight against. When using one of these jump towers, make sure you spin as you go up so you're harder to hit when someone's trying to shoot you. Make sure you don't keep the same pattern though, no, so keep changing directions left, right, right, left, left, right, basically just keep it random. When you're in the air, you can change your movement direction slightly, meaning in these construction buildings in Capital City, you can walk off the ledge and pull yourself into the floor below it. Use horizontal zip lines to carry out a horizontal zip boosting combo. For example, see these zip lines going from Capital City into Fuel Depot? You can go up this one, jump just before you get to the end, and direct yourself to the next one allowing a seamless transfer going into fuel depot. There are scopes in the game that have a toggle option to change zooms. You can use this button to switch between the two. Pop-ups change the way a gun works. Learn them ASAP and use them to your advantage. The perk system changes the way each legend works when doing certain tasks such as using finishers, but they only work in classic battle royale. So no ranked, no multiplayer, no arenas, no TDM, nothing. Only public BR matches. Each Mirage decoy has 45 HP. If you shoot a decoy, decoy and don't end up killing it, the hologram will disappear as it takes damage and quickly reappears. Finishers will always deal 100 damage towards evil points, making it absolutely fantastic for farming damage. Jumping off of a zipline whether it's vertical or horizontal will always give you a nice boost. Don't forget to use this when you're in a gunfight trying to catch them cool moves or getting away from danger. While you're shooting at an enemy and they're running away, learn to predict where the enemy is going and spray transfer to that location and you'll catch them when they get there. Whenever you see a Bangalore pop her smoke, just shoot into that smoke. Sometimes you'll catch someone. Bullets don't pierce through players, meaning you can use knockdown players as meat shields when someone's trying to shoot you and you need to survive a little bit longer. Take advantage of long downhill slopes. Great for covering a large area with just one slide. Hey yo, we're halfway there. This one's very, very important. Remember that Apex Legends Mobile is just a game. Don't forget to have fun no matter how good or bad you're performing. 51. Throw ordnance into Bangalore smoke. The amount of times people stay in there trying to get a heal is unbelievable. Just throw everything that you've got in there and sometimes you'll blow someone apart. Start shooting before Wraith comes out of her tactical ability. See these sparks over here? These will start popping up, letting you know that she's about to come back out of the void. In Apex Legends Mobile, you can slide while you're reloading. Abuse this. On the other hand, you cannot run while you heal. But you can slide, then heal, and you will keep sliding as you heal. Or you can use Octane's jump pad and then heal. If you're getting chased and you need to use a jump pad, drop an ordnance next to it to either stop a chaser or kill them. Tap an empty item slot to request for that item in a chat box. This circle animation thing over here pops up whenever your EVO shield upgrades to the next tier. At the front of the train is this control panel. Using it will trigger the emergency brake, allowing you to stop the train anywhere on the map. Understand the momentum system. Momentum affects sliding distance, wall bounce distance, and diagonal climbing speed and distance. Build momentum and use the momentum to climb around a corner and get up super fast. Learn to take a gamble sometimes. Pre-aim, pre-fire, and start shooting through the door when an enemy runs inside it. The new legend Fade is absolutely incredible. His ultimate ability has so many different ways to use. It can slow enemies down, you can use it to escape danger, you can even use it to close gaps. Learn about Fade ASAP. He is amazing. When wearing a gold shield, shield cells and syringes heal for 50 instead of 25. But it is loot only and does not evolve to red. On that note, learn about all the gold items in the game. They each have special perks that offer amazing survival support. Mozambique is a heavily underrated gun. Mozambique's hipfire accuracy is actually super accurate. It can come very handy in some situations as you will never need to ADS. Knockdown shields offer frontal damage absorption and can be activated by pressing this button. They are loot only and do not evolve. Before using a knockdown shield, sometimes it's best to move to safety first then shield up as the movement is very very slow when you've got your shield on. Start a finisher when someone is using a knockdown shield then cancel it straight away so you can shoot them and kill them fast 
fast because this turns off the shield. When looting, you can drag an item to the right into this box to ping enemies for your teammates. Pick up and master the Kraber Sniper ASAP. This thing can one shot in most cases or 100% guaranteed one shot if you hit a headshot. When using controls into phase 2, you can press and hold this weapon box to holster your weapon away. This button up here is called the select fire button. This is how you change a gun shooting mode from automatic to single fire for example. Learn how to shield swap. The quickest way to do this right now is if you can get to a safe space, drop your current broken shield, run up to a death box and pick up a new one. You can remove or swap scopes in TDM. So if you don't like the scope that it comes with by default, remove it or swap it. If you like playing arenas, RE45 is arguably the best gun to start with as it's cheap, it hits hard, it shoots fast and it's super easy to control. If you're a complete beginner, land in the same two or three locations every time and learn the loot spawn locations in no spots. Every door has glass panels. You can use them to peek outside or inside. Whenever you get hit by a bullet, you get slow. Try not to slide immediately when you get shot. You'll just crouch. This is the interact button. This button is shared between open or closed doors, use zipline or use these control panels. If you want to leave a match and not get a penalty ban, wait until your banner has expired and once it's expired, you can leave the match without getting a ban. If you like using SMGs, pick up the Digithreat scope because you can highlight enemies that are inside Banger's smoke as well as enemies that are behind these doors glass panels. The best way to counter any legend is to learn about them and their abilities so watch legend guides and learn. Crouching and crouch walking completely removes your footsteps audio and footsteps indicator. So sometimes it's best to take your time, crouch walk and sneak up on enemies because they won't hear your footsteps at all. Alright this is more of an advanced thing to do. If you want to go pro and be ahead of the competition, memorize the ring shrinking pattern. Very hard to do obviously, but it is possible. Use grenades when you're chasing someone and they hide behind something making you run in circles. Throw one on each side to flush them out and catch them on one of the sides. Be careful when healing inside Bangalore smoke. Your heal will light up allowing enemies to see and shoot you inside the smoke. Healing is loud. Shield recharge too. Enemies can hear you heal and can find you even if you're hiding. Combine different movement techniques to perfect insane combos that can help you either push an enemy or escape danger. Spam your jump button and constantly move left and right when fighting as this makes you a super hard target to hit. Get good with using an arc star. If you hit an enemy directly with it, also known as sticking the arc star, their shield is guaranteed to get broken. Just because you're knocked down doesn't mean you're useless. You should provide enemy info to your team based on what you can see. You can also block enemies when you're knocked down. Great for blocking a doorway, preventing your enemy from escaping when your teammate is trying to chase and kill them. Your enemies can also see the muzzle flash of your gun, so if you plan to shoot into the smoke, be careful and keep moving. I know it's easier said than done, but whenever you're in a sticky situation, try not to get stressed out. Because when you're stressed out, you cannot think straight. Learn how to bunny hop. This is the best way to move around the map at the moment, push enemies, and even get away from danger. And the most important tip of them all, watch this other 100 tips and tricks video I made that has completely different tips. If you've already seen it, watch it again and brush up on your old knowledge. Oh! Maple syrup won it! GG's!